Hello, gorgeous soul. I am so excited to offer you a September energy reading. If you are an air sign in your sun, moon, or rising, your big three, I'm going to offer you a unified field message from the elemental forces of creation to support you in the month of September to get your creations in order. And so this is for all of my beautiful uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius friends. So take a deep breath in. And this is interesting because I pulled a few of the same cards I did for the fire signs. But let's begin. It is going to be a beautiful opportunity for you to be receiving more peace and growth. So fire, this is peace because it's backwards for me. Fire is the action realm. This is the doing, but it's also the realm of transformation and illumination. And you are going to be doing a lot of growing in your capacity to hold more peace. And peace being a frequency, a perspective, a bandwidth that you are learning how to reside in more and more. And that is massive growth for you. But the way that you're going to be getting there is really through working really consistently with your emotional realm. And this is to run a clean and clear emotional current instead of having um, really like big, dense feelings stuck in your body, allowing the feelings to flow through you. This was the same message that came through for fire. Um, neither air and fire signs love getting in touch with their feelings. It's not our forte. I have a lot of this energy too, but learning how to work consciously with the water realm was what supported me the most in really becoming a fully well-rounded human who is not afraid of my emotions. And in fact, I used to be so heavily connected to spirit that I sometimes felt like I was beyond them. But really amplifying my own personal divinity was not just staying out there, but really grounding into my body, my feelings, my heart, and connecting with all of my humanity. That is where we access our personal divinity at this time. It's not out there. As much as it's easy for you to float and fly out there to the cosmos, it is bringing it all down to earth and being the living embodiment of it. This is one of the major areas for growth, right? This is one of the things that is going to bring you the most peace. And very excitingly, in the earth realm, the physical realm, it is going to bring you the most abundance. So this realm also came up, this card, for fire as well. So this abundance and fertility card is not talking about like babies and fertility. It's about seeing how much that you can create in this physical realm. Sometimes air people tend to have a hard time bringing things down to earth. It's very easy to be swept away in the mental realm, either staying very analytical or creative or often dreamland, but bringing it down to earth so you can create something tangible and physical in this form on this planet is a skill set that you are developing and that comes through everything that we're talking about. So you are going to be able to find more of that peace when you run the clean and clear emotional current and you're able to really grow your prosperity and abundance through all of that. And the access point is through your the embodiment of your personal divinity. Oh my gosh, can I get them all in here? I don't normally use this webcam, and so this is mirrored. Mm. These are my Elemental Forces of Creation Oracle deck. They are currently only available to my creation coaches, but I will be launching a uh, masterclass where you can use a digital version of these cards to get your own personal reading sometime at the beginning of October. I don't have dates for that just yet. We are still getting some ducks in a row, but I wanted to invite you into my personal space, my group, the Luminous Evolution Facebook group, where I'll be sharing more elemental wisdom as well as there is some in the guide section there and um, I will continue to support you in bringing through your soul essence in every realm in every dimension so that you can bring through your most soul aligned creations in your business and your life it's health wealth abundance relationships that's all of it 
you are someone who is here to have it all and you know that is possible. So learning to work with this unified field and all of the elemental forces will support you to do that and it'll open up your creation channels and support you in all of your abundance. So make sure to join the Luminous Evolution group below. And if this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comments what you're taking away from it. And of course, if you have any questions. Now, I am also doing readings for all of the signs. So if you have a sun, moon, or rising in another element, be sure to check out that video as well. And take a peek at my September energy update video so that you can also connect in with what is happening for the collective and how you can really support yourself this month. Take care. Signing off. Loving you. I'll talk to you soon.